Hello, this is Model Fun, and you are watching my quick tips video. This time I'm going to talk about wheels and want to share with you four tips to help you make better looking wheels for your aircraft models. When you build World War II aircraft, consider flattening wheels, especially for the aircraft that operated on the grass airfields. This can be done by sanding down part of the wheel that has contact with the ground, like you can see here, and because this is simple I will not talk about it. A more realistic effect can be achieved by using heat. I use a candle and after the plastic is warmed up, I press it on the flat surface. Of course, be careful with fire and remember that most glues are extremely flammable. Ok, but what if the wheel is not plastic but rubber? Well, if the scale is big enough, here we have the example, the wheel is from Hellcat in 1 32nd scale. You can try to make it flat with the help of a little screw. Unfortunately, I don't have very small ones, but this is the smaller I, I could find. But overall, the principle is the same, so I will show you the technique, uh, show you how this can be done, and well, it's up to you if you can find the, the smaller screw than I have. I saw it somewhere in the internet and I found it quite interesting, so maybe it's worth to try. Let's see. A big advantage of this technique is that we can adjust the screw so we can make it more flat or less flat up to our preferences. When the wheel has its final shape, all imperfections after flattening process and excess plastic on joint line has to be corrected. So the holes filled uh, in with putty, joints sanded down and tire thread rescribed. You can paint the wheel using just the brush and your hand, of course, but if you use an airbrush and have no masks for the wheels, uh, you can buy a plastic template for drawing circles and use it as a mask. Also remember that tires can't shine like diamonds, so use matte paint, avoid spraying gloss varnish on the wheels or if you did, cover the tire later with matte varnish. Unless you want your model to look like it is brand new, use wash and or dry pigment to make the tire look used. These are simple techniques, not time consuming, but can add so much realism to your model. I hope you find these tips useful. If so, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.